Hey fellas, how you doing? So uh, this video is going to be kind of a um, kind of a first impressions slash cleaning slash me rambling video. Um, so I genuinely hope you're able to make it through the whole thing. Probably won't be able to. Just go ahead and click off. Uh, you know, whenever you get bored. Um, but kind of something I was thinking about um, earlier was, you know, open on knives. You know. They are extremely successful. You know, everyone, everyone kind of, every knife guy kind of recognizes the Open L uh, logo. Um, I'd say just as much as they recognize, you know, the Benchmade logo or you know Kershaw or CRKT. You know, bigger, bigger knife brands. Um, but they're not the same kind of knife as a Kershaw or a Benchmade or a Spyderco. Um, but people still carry them. And I was thinking, you know, why, why, why carry an open L when you have, you know, any of those bigger knife brands that I just listed? And uh, I, I narrowed it down to a, a couple of things. One, um, the task that you're doing. If you're just cutting boxes and cutting thread, cutting string, you know, whatever, you just lighter stuff, okay? Why do you need a higher end hundred plus dollar knife to do that job? This knife will do that job just as well um, for a lower price. Um, you could argue that since it's you know the the, the steel on an open L knife, it, it patinas a little more. So if you don't like that, you know you could argue, oh you know Benchmade, Spyderco, Kershaw, they've got better steels, they've got better options. Um, and that's true, I, you know, you just, you gotta calculate, you know, your budget, um, what you want out of a knife, and, uh, just kind of determine what knife to get, um, that way. Uh, another thing is, uh, how it carries. This is kind of a light EDC knife. It's, what, 70-something grams? Uh, this is just below 28 grams. So you really can throw this in your pocket and just forget about it. You know, never really know it's there until you think, you, you know, oh, I gotta use, you know, I gotta use my knife or something. Um, which is great, you know. I, I, I personally haven't carried this yet. Um, so I don't really, I don't really know, if, I'm not speaking from experience here. This is a gift, so I'm not going to carry this. Um, at some point I'll probably pick up uh, one of my own, but um, I've got some other knives that I want to get first. Um, another thing is, and this is kind of a, this is kind of an idea that, you know, maybe, maybe it's a little bit more out there, um, maybe like where you carry it, you know, some places that you, that you carry a knife, it's not appropriate to, uh, carry, you know, a Benchmade, you know, it's not, it's just not appropriate to have something like that, you know, this this has a huge presence in the room when you pull it out, you know, I, there are several heads turn when I'm among uh, friends and, you know, even family, and I pull this out, you know, everybody wants to know, you know, oh, what's that, you know, that's a nice, that's a nice looking knife, you know, it's got some smooth action on it, it has that satisfying click when it opens, I love it, okay. But some places you go, you don't want that kind of attention from a blade, so... Uh, you know, you carry you carry something a little smaller. And actually, um, what got me thinking about this is I I got this as a gift from my cousin. He's in college. Um, he can't own a knife even, you know, this big. You know, this isn't a huge knife. That's about a medium sized knife. He, he he just he just isn't allowed to own it. Um, so I was like, you know, I got some money. I get you, you know, kind of a kind of a beater. Um, which leads me to my next point. It's thinner steel, okay? It's it's real thin um, compared to you know that's about how thick your average steel is for a knife. That's about how thick you can expect knife steel to be on um, most knives. This is thinner steel. It's you know it's not gonna take a beating, but you can use it without really thinking about it because it's a fifteen dollar knife. I tend to think about when I'm using this, um, 
I try not to hold back too much because I, I kind of understand, you know, that's, you know, why spend a bunch of money on a knife that you don't want to ever use. Um, I, I get that. Um, but, you know, some people, they don't want to spend a ton of money on a knife that they're just going to beat up. Okay? And I take care of my knives. Um, but, you know, not everybody wants to take apart their knives, you know, sharpen them every... That's, I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me. But some people, that's, they don't want to do that. And that's fine. Um, so they buy a knife like this. Um, it's just a, it's a friction folder. It's got a lock on it. Um, lock isn't great. Not gonna lie. Um, I expected a little bit more from the lock. Even though I paid fifteen dollars for this, I've paid less for knives. Yet yeah, I have gotten cheaper knives than that before. Um, and they had better locking systems than this. Um, even slip joints. You know, I, I mean, th there's a little bit of play back and forth, but I mean, it's a slip joint. It's not really a true locking. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of what that is right there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a suitable knife for some people, you know, it's small, light, lightweight, cheap, you know, it's great, uh, for some people. This isn't the knife that you would ca catch me carrying, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to own one of these. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Let's lock it again. I like the way it feels in the hand. Um, you know, it's nice. It's nice. It, um, but you know, anyway, that's enough of that that rambling. Uh, here's a tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you may have already heard of this. When I bought my uh, Benchmade Benchmade Mini Griptilian, um, the guy at the counter told me he said. I'm sure you've seen those videos where guys they'll put, they'll spend ten twenty bucks, you know, on oil for their knives so they don't rust, and uh, you know that's all good and well, but not only do you have to spend a ton of money, but you can't really use it for most of those oils for food prep, and chapstick for a couple of cents, we'll do the same thing, and you can use it for food prep, because what, okay, think about this, he said this to me, he said, would you rather have gun oil on your knife, and then cut into it like an apple or something like that, would you rather be eating gun oil, or chapstick, and chapstick goes on your lips, that's what it's made for, so I mean, obviously, it's not going to kill you if you ingest it, um, and that, I thought that was a really good point, so, what you want to do, I already cleaned mine, you want to just clean your blade. I tend to use Windex, you know. I, you know, you can find it around the house and it gets your blades clean. Um, gets the oil off, you know, all that. That's what it's made to do. Okay. Then you want to dry it off. Make sure it's pretty dry. All right. And then just, you know, very lightly, put some chapstick on it. Push mine out a little bit more. But just put some chapstick on it. And especially, like I said before, these this is an open L. It's carbon steel, and open L is kind of known for their blades. You know, they get a they get a pretty prominent patina over time. Um, some people like it, some people don't. So um, I don't. This is again, this is a gift. So until it's not in my hands anymore, I'm gonna keep it oiled um, until I give it to him. Cause I don't know if he wants it uh, patina or not. So I'm just gonna. Put that on there. And I feel perfectly comfortable knowing that I'm not, you know, eating, I'm not putting gun oil into my mouth. Because who, want, who wants to eat gun oil? That's, that's gross. Alright, now wipe all the extra off. Alright. It smells nice too. Not that gun oil doesn't smell good, but this smells sweet. Um... But yeah, this is, this was a couple of cents um, at at the checkout counter, so you don't even have to go anywhere really looking for it. Um, in, in my case, anyway. Um, but it's nice. It's you know the blade looks good as new. Um, got it a couple weeks ago. Still looks brand new to me. Um, obviously, when the chapstick's not on it, because you, you can't really. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's my take on the open L. Um, I'll buy one for myself at some point in the future, and then uh, then I'll upload a video of you know what I think about carrying it, and um, 
so yeah, first impressions, cleaning, and I uh, hope you found that tip uh, helpful. See you guys in the next one.